asking Alexandria's Danny and Ben fill us in on their brand new single. Hi guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. Now, Asking Alexandria have just returned with some brand new music. The single is entitled Alone Again and is available right now, and it is taken from the follow up to last year's album Like a House on Fire, which is entitled See What's on the Inside. It is out via Better Noise Music on October 1st. So, we had a little bit of a chat over Zoom with Danny Warsnop and Ben Bruce from the band to find out about putting that single together and their new recording process for this particular record take a look tell me a little bit about when this song started developing how it came together this was one that was we wrote we wrote a fair amount of it before going in the studio most of this we wrote in the studio um and we kind of we kind of made a point of that i mean ben's permanently writing he's already finished the album after the next one um (laughs) but uh this is actually the first time we've been in the studio together in 10 years we oh, always were we, we've yeah, been go, yeah. we've been going in separately kind of as per everyone's schedules and you know everyone lives split up and it's been uh a lot of kind of ben and ben and matt writing and recording and then uh i'll fly in a couple months later and, and do some vocals me and matt and then a couple months after that james will go in and record some drums and then that's the album like we didn't demo anything like that was it um and this time we kind of we wanted to, we wanted it to be about us and about, you know, what it is that we do and our music. So we, we all jumped on uh, planes and met up in a studio and we're all there together and everyone, everyone was involved and did their thing. And I think we really managed to capture something special with it. Yeah, I think, you know, like Danny said, this is the first time in over a decade where we were all in a studio together and I think you don't realize what's happening when you're in it. Um, and over the last sort of 10 years, everything just is in fast forward and you're told where to go, when to go there, how quickly to get there. And it's just like, boom, boom, boom. And before you know it, you're just a puppet being told everything and you're just going through and you kind of forget. And what well, I mean, you completely forget why you started this, this journey together in the first place. And, it's funny, you look back at when you started the band and I, I have such vivid memories of, of all of us just in James's little, he had a drum room off his parents' house and we would be stoked. And I remember when we wrote like the final episode and we would play it over and over and over and we would just all be stoked and that energy was just, it was, it was lightning in a bottle and it wasn't that, it was just it was new and it was exciting and we were in love with what we were doing. And it's not that over the years we've stopped loving music and we've stopped loving each other, but it's just, we weren't, it's almost like you don't get given that opportunity anymore. There's so many people involved. Um, and I think this time, this time off that we were all forced into uh, kind of gave us a minute to reflect on all of that. And, you know, this time when we were in the studio, as Danny said, all together, that magic was there again. We were all, all five of us were there and it was so nice to be like, I've got this cool riff idea and I'd be jamming it. It'd be so nice to have the other four guys there feeding off that energy. And, you know, Sam would go and grab his bass and jam and, and, and Danny would be there to throw his two cents in. And that's what made asking Alexandria, asking Alexandria. That's what made the magic happen. It was all five of us coming together. And I think for the first time since I'm going to say since Stand Up and Scream, I think we captured that same passion and that same love um, and that same asking Alexandria. Of course, the title of the album, there's a track on there as well called See What's On The Inside. I always like to ask people about album titles. I don't care if it's a cliche question because it genuinely fascinates me. I always want to know why do people pick these phrases that they think sums up a collection of songs? See What's On The Inside. What made you guys pick that particular title? I think it's pretty self-explanatory for this one, you know, with with every with how the record we're serial killers. Yeah, oh. see what's on the inside. Um, no, that's how Nine kills. We went back to basics. We stopped relying on computers and all that stuff. Everything that you hear on the record is us um, in its rawest uh, form. And I think when it came down to album titles, this band, I, I'm sure it's the same with most bands, but. It just takes forever to think of an album title forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And you go round and round and round. This one, it it came 
very quickly. It was one night we sat down and it's like, what should, what should we call the album? And that was kind of just the one that just came out and resonated with everyone. And, you know, I'm not sure if you've seen the album artwork yet or anything, but again, oh, but yeah, it's, that's, it's so simple and so basic and it's just peel back the layers. And we, we wanted the record, the music to speak for itself. Um, and I think it does. Check back here on Rock Sound for that full conversation in the lead up to the album in a couple of weeks time. And in the meantime, check out that brand new single right now over on rocksound.tv. In the meantime, I've been James Wilson Taylor and this has been your Rock Sound News Update.